So CRISPR-Cas systems are simply just a collection of different proteins, enzymes, that are the immune systems of bacteria. And they evolved alongside inside bacteria to reject these foreign invaders called phage. Instead of Cas9, which operates like a pair of scissors and cuts, Cas3 not only cuts, but eats like a Pac-Man. It degrades and damages that DNA beyond any sort of repair pathway. Whereas Cas9, by creating this nice clean break, can be repaired. When Locus uses Cas3, every cut the first time kills that cell in a sequence specific manner, as opposed to Cas9, which may require multiple cuts and may not be as predictable. So our technology at Locus is fundamentally built on this theory that we can take that enzyme out of that bacteria cell and load it into a virus that's called a bacteriophage and send that into the human body to do exactly the same thing. Target a bacterial species and then use that Cas3 enzyme to kill that target bacterial species and remove that pathogenic threat from the body. So Locus has a really unique intellectual property position using Cas3. We've been in this field well before most were paying attention to it. And so we've created a very dominant position, not only in the use of Cas3, but in the use of Cas3 in multiple different areas. So antibacterials, human gene editing, antivirals. You know, we've spent a lot of time developing this portfolio. We think Cas3 deserves its time in the limelight for science. We think it's one of the more powerful tools that the field of medicine can deploy um, really to extend human life for, for, for society at large. It's exciting times ahead for CRISPR-Cas3 and, and we hope to be one of the front runners in the advancement of Cas3.